For this challenge, I went to Allen's Mexican Restaurant in Portland, Oregon to take on their Diablo Burrito Challenge. It is a pretty pretty pricey challenge at $20. It's a one and a half or so pound burrito, I'd say, uh, stuffed with rice, beans, and about eight of the world's spiciest peppers. There are two serrano peppers, as you saw on top, that you have to eat first because it symbolizes that you accept the challenge. It is a 10-minute challenge. Over 30 people attempted it prior to me with nobody succeeding within the 10 minutes. Three people actually finished it after the 10 minutes expired, but the challenge remained undefeated. Uh, everything was made to order here, so the burrito came out piping hot. Two smart things that I did in this challenge. First, I had to cut that burrito open, released all that steam. You don't really want to scald your mouth too much trying to eat all of that, all that temperature hot along with the spice. But also I downed huge bites with cold water. I just didn't chew a whole lot, just downed it with cold water. I had multiple glasses of water there and just going off a of past experience because you know, the last thing you want in a spicy challenge is to run out of water or any sort of relief. The heat really started hitting me about halfway through the challenge as I'm trying to trying to make my way through that burrito there. Basically here, I just was telling myself, just get, just get it done. My eyes are saying, just just let it be over. Let it be over with. I'm telling you, if you love spicy challenges, this will test you. It is a very spicy burrito. A very spicy burrito. Certainly the spiciest burrito I've ever had. At this point, I'm waving the owner's son over just to get his attention over here just to make sure that he can see me eat the last of the the last of the burrito I finished in eight minutes and twenty seconds to become the first winner I got a free shirt and a gift certificate for two free regular dinners and yeah the heat really really took a toll major major pain but it was an honor to be the first winner and it's a family business they're really friendly people I will be back in the future